So I run right. Let's have a look at this swing in Fowler. Some of the strange things that he's worked on. An interesting video here is I'm going to take you through some old Fowler. When he first came into it, that's when he hit the most greens in regulation. Then some of the strange stuff that he did to his action. Still successful. Great player. Great talent. One of my favorite players. Um, and then where he is now, and he looks like he's coming back with 23 under par or something. One of the world's best short game players. One of the most popular players there is. Um, but some of the staff that he worked on, not with Butch Harmon anymore, just did, don't know what he was thinking. And uh, we'll take you through some of this stuff in the swing. And, and really, to open up your eyes, how dangerous it, it is when you're working on perhaps things that don't match up to your own action. Now, when this guy first came out on tour, I mean, he hits it miles, right? It's just, uh, it, it, for his size, he's such a long play, such a talent. And um, have a look at this. I just love this sort of, that's the natural, that's the young Fowler when he first came out. I'm going to take you through a couple of moves in this swing and you're going to scratch your head because the position coming down here is just absolutely remarkable. Now, I had a chance to chat with this guy, lovely guy, at uh, the Firestone Golf Club there in Ohio. He was hitting drive as backhanded. Right, get this. He turned his hands around and he said he was, he does, he was doing a drill to get a feeling of his shoulder coming down. And he's hitting it. 280 yards every single time dead straight with his hands around the other way. Uh, I can't believe, just unbelievable talent. Now looking at this uh, motion, some of the things that he did in the swing early on, he only had his hands really, really low. And uh, But what we're going to see here is, check this out, how he kept the club just miles outside the hands. It's one of those things you probably go, well, you know, that's a mistake. Right? <laughs> but what it actually did is it got him into some pretty unusual positions. His shoulder plane was that steep, around 44 degrees here. The tour average there is around 30 for a driver, you know, and 39 to 45 with your iron shots. But what, have a look at this angle in the back of this right wrist. You know, he's got the, this is the, uh, one of the swing styles that we show people on worldclassgolf.com is called deep to shallow. So you get your shoulders very steep but you get your lead arm and your right wrist in position it just sets it up for a wonderful downswing now when you see this arm position right he's like double jointed so if you could order a body part to play better golf it'd be like a shoulder that could externally rotate like that it's just such an advantage and uh it really you can steepen the shaft onto the ball but really the position here when he brings it down we're seeing this remarkable position. Have a look at this. I will get out Garcia because Garcia really is and has been one of the best hitters. He's currently second second best ball strike on the planet from T to green. And what you're going to be seeing is really similar right shoulder positions. You're going to be seeing in the club face. So you've got a what looks like to be a strange position. But have a look at that. Have a look at this plane and how he hangs. And look at that angle from Fowler there. Right, now he's working on trying to get himself to open up a little bit more. Some other things, obviously, he's spent a couple of years <laughs> fixing stuff up. but uh, and, and trying to get the shaft to, as he's mentioned, to come down and, and be a little bit lower down at impact. And obviously, the stuff that he's doing, you know, it's helping him out. But it makes you wonder why he would be, you know, why he would have changed that swing. Because obviously, you know, when you bring the club down on these positions here like Garcia, it's a great place to be. And it's your natural pattern. It's your DNA. Now, let's have a look at some of the stuff that he did to it. Right, guys, how good is this? Have a look. Have a look at that entry there. I know the camera angles over the ball, right? But have a look how pure this is. Watch this. Look at his, I can see the legs straight and see the legs pull back. Have a look at that right foot. See that right arm extend? Oh, that's just so good. You know, that's just deep angles and incredible stuff. Now, this camera angle is a little bit better. So you can see that he kept the club outside the hand. It was definitely much more vertical. So I'm going to show you what he's actually worked on there. And um, I see this position at the top. So what I love about, for a lot of people, when we're showing people this deep to shallow swing style on worldclassgolf.com, is we're looking at, you know, we're looking at 43, 44 degrees shoulder plane. Uh, and we're looking at 39 degrees here. This is just a different angle slightly here. So I'm probably seeing it around 45. You see the lead arms lower. Right, so you can get your lead arm lower than your, your shoulder plane. For a lot of people coming in steep, it's just a huge thing. So you're seeing so many people, the club golfers around, you know, mid 20, 20 degree shoulder planes and the arms up here. 
and the machine's really broken, right? So because you're trying to get, when you see how this thing comes down, I mean, once it comes down slightly underneath that forearm, I mean, that's that's the place to be, right? And this is what we've been talking about. Now, guys, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Plenty of videos coming your way. Online lessons, check out worldclassgolf.com. There's a deal there, 1,000 videos plus an online lesson with me. Online lessons, same format here, side by side. Tailored drills and exercises. Goes for around 20 to 30 minutes. Pretty good um, value for for your money there. Now, I mean, the shoulder plane on the way through, you're probably looking here, what have we got? We got 57 uh, on this side here. It's probably around the same, I'd say. Yeah, somewhere around there. So you've got, you know, it's slightly 12 degrees or so, 13 degrees higher, and that's when you shoulder plane, that's the engine, that's the motor. And uh, great hip planes, you know, we're getting an idea of, you know, the hip planes being up pretty high here on both sides. And this is that left side extension, which is a, is a great thing to look at. Something that's not looked at enough is, you know, if you can get this right hip lower uh, in and around impact, great place to be. Let's have a look at what he did with the motion or um, perhaps what he worked on with Port Charman there. And it's an interesting one because you can sort of see the huge differences. And, and look, I mean, he's still been successful, right? I mean, and nothing, it's not that easy sometimes. You might, might have a bit of a... An injury, or you make a bit of a swing change because you think it's the right thing to do. We well, see how it's really towed up more uh, and moving back into that fashion, and that that's quite a swing change because what it actually does, and you know, it looks good, but it's changing your DNA. See, the shoulder's about 25, right? So, I mean, guy's going to make it work, and you know, but you can see it right down here, much steeper. It's a little bit like McElroy in, in 2000. And 11 was probably that's the best ball strike I've ever seen. It had a similar takeaway here to really, really steep and also changed that. And um, obviously, still been successful, but it, it moving away perhaps from your, your real pattern, your naturalness, you know, it can sort of have an effect. And I think, you know, it, the club came in uh, at times a bit steeper with uh, Ricky, and then the club head was sort of a little bit more uh, in this type of position with the, you know, the club face back that way. And, um, you know, still had rounds where I'm sure he flushed it and he's that good. But uh, the question is, you know, was he a better ball striker with the, with the shaft coming in a lot lower, more underneath, a bit more like Garcia? Um, yeah, it'd be interesting to have a chat with him about that. You know, he's got his shaft lean and he's got all the moves and he's got, he's just a great, he's a, well, he's one of the actual legends really of the modern day game. Isn't everybody knows who he is? 12 degrees of shaft lean there, 90 degrees. There's your tour average. We talk a lot about that on, on videos, uh, to get compression, to get that shaft lean and quite a few different characteristics that move through the swing. But he has moved his swing around, um, and it's getting better. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. And join us in the chat room and join the community of World Class Golf Instruction. And so when we see him sort of, you know, moving up to the top of the swing here, you know, we're going to see the shoulder playing starting to get a little bit steeper. The plane of the club is a little bit steeper. You know, it's a little bit different to what it was, but we're seeing the plane move down, you know, much, much steeper. So the swing is moving a little bit back to where it was. And, I, you know, looking at uh, this this move coming down now, you know, the club's shallowing, slowly getting underneath the shaft. We see probably see a little bit better club face control there, don't we, with the club face moving in to a great position. You know, I mean, that's how many times have we seen plays? We've seen, obviously, you know, I think in the modern day where we see you know, swing changes perhaps now, uh, it's always a dangerous thing, isn't it? Yeah, moving uh, moving swings around, but uh, we've seen, maybe we've seen more players hurt themselves rather than, you know, improve their ball striking. And there's certainly guys out there that have improved their ball striking, but the real natural champions of the game, uh, at times you, you probably, like a Ricky Fowler, you'd, you'd wonder why you wouldn't you just uh, leave it alone but there you go guys um interesting looking at this uh, great player and uh, i really would love to see him win a major i really think he's um uh one of the most talented players really in world golf when you're looking at just pure natural talent 
This guy really is a, a freak, and he's great. He's great for the game of the golf. Guys, have a look at worldclassgolf.com, and if you're after online lessons, have a look at that or craighansongolf.com. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.